Welcome back everyone. Today I thought that I could kick off my Enchanting Spaces organizational series. This is going to take us into all of the different areas within my home and I'm just going to show you how things are and then also possibly, I should say, um, how I'm going to organize things. I think it's the perfect time of year to be reorganizing things, especially because we're all going to be cooped up in our homes and and, you know we're going to be doing a lot of cooking etc and so a lot of these spaces we're going to want to declutter we're going to just want to have organized really well so that we know where everything is not like we wouldn't want that all year long but it's just I think we all go through these these seasons where we want to do these kind of things around different times of the year so I know that I especially look forward to doing this around this time of year because I'm going to be having company over and I just want everything to run smoothly. So the best way for things to run smoothly is of course to have everything organized. I have something really special to share with you today. Denise from This and That with Denise Jordan is going to be interviewing me on her channel and I would appreciate it if you would come and help support me over there and help support Denise by doing this. Um, I am going to leave the link in my description box below and then I'm also going to post something on my community tab and this is going to be at 7.45 Eastern Standard Time. So so that is uh, 4.45 Pacific and I am just looking forward to doing this. This is going to be today. So if you are interested in seeing you know, her question me and, and me answering all the different things that she has questions about, please head over there. I think that it will be very enjoyable for the audience as well as for myself. It's just, I love interacting with real people. So that is going to be a little bit different than me being on my channel I feel um, just recording myself so that is always a fun dynamic and I look forward to that I really hope that you will join me I love organization I would have to say that my most popular videos are about organization especially the kids lunches video and I think that one's almost at a million views that's kind of crazy but um, as you can see I have different things in my office. I have a new desk here. My mom gifted me this right around my birthday. And um, this was actually shown to me by my friend Jessica. She sent me a picture from Facebook Marketplace. And I think it was only $25 or something. You just can't beat that price. And I was pleasantly surprised because it has so much space on the top whereas that cream one that I had gotten before was more of a child size desk so it just made it a lot more difficult to have everything spread out on there that I wanted to and also because of how low it was it just made it a lot more difficult to sit at like I couldn't put my knee up under under myself or anything like that when I was working um, you know just those little things make all the difference. So I'm so happy to have this new desk. Um, it's solid wood and it looks a, very worn. And right when I got it, I thought I need to paint this right away. And I have the paint. I have the cream paint. I have the gold that I can put, you know, gild it and everything. But then I'm just sitting here with it. As Jessica always says, sit with it. And then I was talking to my mom about it and she said, sit with it. So I'm sitting with it because I really haven't made up my mind. So um, anyway, I have another new piece in here that I'm excited to share with you. And it's the perfect piece to organize a lot of the things that I have that I wanted to tuck away. But then I also realized there are some things that I need to get to that like work related things that I want to have discussed laid so that it's pressing me to get it done that way I'm not shoving it away and saying okay I'll get to it at a later day because I like for things to look nice and I like for things to be done so sometimes having your work 
visible to you will help you in that regard if you're like me. So like I said, I have been doing a little bit of organizing already. I can't just turn the camera on and think that I'm going to figure everything out and take you along with me as I do that just because of the way that my brain works. I don't like to feel the pressure of being on camera to do such things, but I've done the majority. I have a couple of little doodads that I need to put away still, but now I want to freshen the space up. I have my Mrs. Myers apple cider scent. I need to go back to the store and get more of this because I can't believe how much I've already used of this in a short amount of time, but it just really inspires me to clean some more just to be able to smell this and it just makes me feel all the fall feelings. So um, I'm going to be cleaning off my desk with this. I'm going to clean off my new desk because I haven't even wiped that off yet. And then I'll take you around, give you a little bit of a tour as far as how I've organized this space. And I would love to hear in the comments below if you have been reorganizing your office space, um, whether it's your home office or your office at work. Sometimes just doing something like that can just revitalize you, give you more energy to be in that space. That's how I feel anyway. And then also you will notice that I don't have the drawers lined or anything like that. I'm not there yet. And I'm thinking of other things that I can do, not even just line them, but actually like do some really pretty things in there. And that is what enchanting spaces is all about. It's about making it very beautiful so that you would love whatever drawer you open or whatever space you are in because of the way that it is. It's, it just speaks to you. It may not be something that would be, you know, perfect to showcase to everybody or something like that, but it's perfect for you. So that is what I hope to inspire you to do is make whatever space that you have perfect for you and not like it has to be in a magazine or, you know, just something like that, but just beautiful to you. Beautify your space. That's what we're doing. Okay, so let's get to cleaning.
think that I will just take you on a little tour of my office. Something that's really important to me about this space is that everything is movable because I move things in here so often to suit my needs for the moment. Um, we at one point had this space as my daughter's room and we thought that it would be a good idea, but ultimately it wasn't for many reasons, but mo most importantly was that she had no privacy. This was the exit to the house and she didn't even like that. Everybody going into her room, etc. So this just doesn't make for a good room, like a permanent room but um, it does make for a really great space for whatever I want it to be in the moment. So um, right now it is my studio and um, I finally found a piece that can conceal a lot of the things that I wanted to. My mom and I went to the Vintage Days Fair here in Las Vegas this past weekend and it was so much fun. We found a lot of great things, and this is one of them. I was absolutely drawn to the roses that were on it. Um, it's just so pretty. The lady that did this did a fantastic job, and um, the hardware is pretty, everything about it. And I thought that it would make a really great place to fold up and package all of my items that I ship out from my Etsy shop. So something that I did last night was I unraveled a lot of my ribbon into here. I still have more rolls of ribbon, of course, but um, I just ended up unraveling a lot of them, putting them in here. I have spools that I could put them on and roll them up on, but I just find that it doesn't make sense for me to do that with how how quickly I go through the ribbon. So. Um, putting it in this cookie jar, and this is a depression glass cookie jar, um, I can just have the lid on it and then pull out what I need. And as you can see, the lid doesn't move at all, but it holds it in place. So a problem that I was having was that um, my spools would just you know, roll around and things like that. So this just makes it a lot easier. That is a great trick. I would say a little hack. If you wanted to do something like that, you can have it displayed beautifully in a jar. If you have a wrapping station, I just think that that is the perfect solution. And then I also opened up all of this tissue paper right here so it's ready to fold. I don't have to constantly open up new tissue paper and I find that this has been saving me a lot of time as well. Now in the top drawer I have all of my poly bags uh, for shipping. I have tissue paper, ones that aren't opened yet. I have extra ribbon right there, my packing tape, as well as the punchers that I like to use to um, decorate the edges of the receipt paper. Down below is what I have for my stock in my store, at least these items. So I'm going to be getting some more stationery pretty soon, which is great because I still have a lot more space in here. And I might end up folding these or standing them up just to add more space, putting something in here to hold them up. I did put some drawer liner paper in here. Um, it's not my favorite, but you know, it it's doing the job for the time being, especially because um, I don't know if anything on the bottom would come up on anything. So I kind of wanted to protect um, the aprons especially. And then um, I also have my scale right over there because sometimes I need to uh, weigh things just to see what the weight is before I ship it out of that and kind of hidden like when you're on the other side you can't see this but I have some wrapping paper here sometimes I wrap up um, larger packages if I'm going to, if somebody ordered a lot of things I have some boxes that I can wrap up and um, this paper is especially good for that because it's very thick um, but also just wrapping paper in general if I'm going to be wrapping a gift and then I have extra spools in this little briefcase right there. Um, and then I put some um, pine cones, some cinnamon scented pine cones right there because they just smell so good. And 
I've been enjoying that in the house this season. Here I have all of my stationery up here. So my thank you cards, as well as just stationery that I write for my pen pals, some blank um, watercolor cards so that I can paint if I wanted to. And then I also have cards that I send out with my orders and um, extra paper in the back, just little little paper that, you know, I like to wrap up any of my um, bookmarks or anything like that. I also put some up here as well, but I have bookmarks throughout, mostly um, just color coordinated, and then that way I can find them quickly. And then in this drawer, I have a few things like my wax for wax seals. I have, um, you know, my seals, and then also a couple of um, things just for good cheer, I would say, and things to inspire me or just, you know, make me smile, make me think. I have that right there. My inkwell with my pen and the ones that I use most frequently, and then also over on this side, I just have my glasses in there. should move this if I'm going to show you underneath. Underneath I have some extra cards. These are just different holidays. I have those here in case I wanted to use something really quickly. I have some cards, some playing cards right there, um, but these are my special playing cards so I keep them in my office. And then on this side, I have all of my um, journals. So I love blue journals. I don't know what it is, but um, yes, these are just my absolute favorite. And I like to write. I try to write every day um, because it just helps. I think if you if you journal, I think it helps you get your thoughts. On this rack, I have extra hangers that my husband just went through his closet and organized everything the way that he wanted it. So I'm going to be taking those hangers out to my mom, see if she wants any of those. Um, if not, we might end up donating them and then, or just bringing them into my son's room. He might end up using those. And then um, I have things that need to get done over here. So if I'm going to be using this rack for clothes, especially if I'm going to be making a video or something, obviously I, take all this stuff off of here. But it's a great place for me to just put those things that I really need to attend to right here so that it's kind of in my face. You know, I, I see it, I need it to be here so that I know that it needs to be done. And then I also have uh, bins of things like these are for just extra tissue paper, extra wrapping things some stickers, um, extra little tiny frames that I'm going to be um, putting little paintings in, things like that. And then um, over here I have extra notebooks. Um, I have a binder in there. I think that's of the kids stuff. Just things that I'm keeping right now, you know, notebooks and stuff that I'm keeping. And then paintings that I need to, frames for, paintings that I'm going to fill and this has I've talked about this in the past this has different things for making uh, bookmarks and and things like that so just paper and then um, especially if I'm going to be painting somewhere else I take this with me it also has the addresses of my pen pals in there and um, on a little note card and so it just makes it a lot easier when I am writing to my pen pals and then I can see um, you know the bookmarks that I have and what I need to make etc and then down there I just have some dresses that I need to post on my Poshmark um, account so I that is something to do now moving over to my desk area, I have this drawer right here which has the current planners that I'm using, well a couple of them, and then also my um, lighter right here because I'm often lighting a candle so that I can seal my letters, etc. In this middle drawer, which is really neat because it has a key, a way to lock it, but I don't have the key, so it would be nice to 
I don't know, get a key if I could. And then in here I have uh, my address book. I have my, um, you know, where all my passwords are. And then I have extra notepads, my scissors, as well as uh, my checkbooks back there. And then I have just some lipstick, lip liner, chapstick, things that I might need in here. Um, when I'm like right before I film or something so I don't have to run into my room and then all of my pens because somehow they always end up missing I don't know um, my tape measure and then the next drawer over has everything that I need to get to so on my desk day I will just pull all of this out and handle all of it that way it can be done but this is my drawer where I know that I need to attend to these items or else. In this corner right here, I have this beautiful nightstand that my friend Jessica gave me. And I still haven't painted it, but I do want to paint it just because it, it does look pretty rough on top, you know, and um, I just think it would be fun to do something a little bit different. And I am going to try my hand at making it with, you know, kind of the way that this was done with flowers over it. I would like to do something like that to this. So this is going to be my practice piece right here once I get to it. But I have a letter um, sorter here and um, I just have my more planners. I have more planners up here. My work one as well as the one going into the new year. And then right here I have um, some of my camera equipment that I've been recently using. It's not all of it. I do need to bring more of it over here and I'm probably going to need a new set of headphones because these are they're just not working very well anymore. I would still like to um, redo the inside of this but like I said that will come with time we're not doing everything right at the moment and then I have some storage space for some more projects like that's the paint that I'm going to be using on this piece and um, you know that's just we we have things that we need to get to and um, all with time so that is how I have everything organized in my office. That's how it's working for me at the moment. It's not the most beautiful layout that I've ever, that I feel I've ever done, or um, do I feel that everything flows well? No, not necessarily, but it works well for me. So I do try to bring in beautiful elements and you know all these pieces speak to me and they just bring me joy and they're very enchanting pieces to me um, but you know it's a continual work in progress and i'm still figuring things out i'm still um, deciding you know what i would like to have on the wall for instance or if i don't want anything at all and so you see little areas where i've just you know i mean my walls are full of holes and my husband always likes to make fun of me about that but you know it's just it's something that i love to do i hope that this inspired you in some way and that you can see that you can do all these different little things to your own space to make it more enchanting for you and just to make it a space that you would love to be in it's not going to be picture perfect all the time and that's okay and don't feel like you have to get things a certain way right away I think that I mean we're just in a time where everybody wants everything right now and they want to see something done and and uh, it can take time and so enjoy that process enjoy the time that it may take you to get things just right and just to enjoy your space all along the way so don't forget about the interview over at this and that with Denise Jordan I hope to see you over there I know that there will be a live I think it's a live yeah it's a live stream and you will be able to pose your questions or just you know chat in the comment section and I look forward to seeing you over there thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you in my next video bye everyone <music>